What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing County. This is Cricket 19 Veterans League T20 2021. Game number six in round two. It's the Lee Capitals taking on Central Stags. The Capitals have lost their first game. The Stags have won their first game. So uh, they're on the opposite sides of the table at the moment. But that is, well, maybe it'll change. Maybe it'll remain the same. Who knows? Do let me know who do you think is winning this one. The coach for Dilly Capitals is Pitsky. And the coach for Central Stags is uh, James. Um, little fun fact james is actually from new zealand and pete is from australia so it's kind of a aussie kiwi rivalry going on right here even though pete's chosen an ipl team but that's all right you can choose whatever team you want here we go all right uh hit the like button hit subscribe all that good stuff and let's jump into the video if you're not familiar with the rules of the league uh you can check out the description i've just Put a short little summary there of the rules, or you can click on the eye icon in the top right corner. It'll take you to the draft video, which will explain how the teams were picked by these people. The two coaches, Chris Gale, captaining Dilly Capitals, and uh, Kano, captaining Central Stags. I mean, who else really? Come on. You've got Kano, he's got to be the captain, eh? It's as simple as that. Kano have won the toss, and he's chosen to have a bat first. Stuart Broad, he's big, he's bad, and he's better than his dad. To open a bowling. As early to face the first delivery. Lovely back foot punch into extra cover. And we'll just pick up one run first up. Ah, oh, shot. He's given him a lot of room. Faf to police. He's not going to miss out on those. Smash that one. First delivery. Four runs. He means business. He started his campaign off quite well, and I think he's going to continue on doing well. Goes over cover here again, gets four more runs. He started it off with a half ton in the first game of the season. And I think he's going to do well. He is a very good batsman. Yes. Pretty much everyone that's playing here has got a lot of experience. I mean, it is known as the Veterans League for a reason. Place that one out of the gap. I like that. He rolled his wrist over that one, kept it along the ground, nearly went all the way to the boundary for four, but I think they'll pick three. The field has done well enough to save one run there for his team. Good shot. Not a great delivery, though. That was over pitched. That's been dealt with. Yep. A lovely. Keeps it along the ground as well. Francois Duplessis. Classy as ever. Love watching him play. I'm here and he's going to be playing for Bashar Zalmi. I hope he plays like this. There he goes again. He's so good. He's so pleasing on the eyes, isn't he? Such a textbook batsman. Oh, there he goes again. It's pretty much all faff. Make that four in a row. He's given a bowler quite a beating. Yes. Now Chami gives Azar Ali a bit of room, and that's all Azar needed. Yes. Oh, shot on the ground out of the gap. 35 of 18 deliveries. This man is on another level. Yep. Shot, lovely over cover. I feel like they keep bowling in that same area. Both the batsmen are smashing them. Yes. Oh, there it is. Finally, that works. Persistence pays off. I just said they keep bowling that same delivery, even though they're getting smashed. But uh, finally, that very same delivery has worked. Got the inside edge from Francois Duplessis on his way back to the dugout after a very good knock, a belligerent knock. 35 of 19, 184 strike rate they're going at. And Kano, there he is. The World Cup winner. <laughs> Lovely push into Medon. There is none. We'll pick up a couple or maybe even a four, actually. No, I don't think that's going to go all the way. It's very well fielded. Saved him one run. Ooh, that was a slower one. 
I thought he might have beaten him there, but Azarelli's picked it up well. He is going a bit slow, but uh, he's got plenty of time to catch up. Yep. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That is such a great shot between the two fielders as well. Yep, he's beaten him. Yep. Oh, he goes into the square, square of square area, <laughs> square leg. <laughs> Square of square leg. What am I saying? I don't know. Yep. Oh, lovely. Over a gully and onto the road for four. Yep. Two classic test players at the moment playing T20. Oh, that's the end of him. That's it. He's got a neck there as well. I think it might have bounced off of the ground. Yeah, it did bounce off of the ground, so it won't be given a cop behind, but rather a stumping. Either way, he's gone, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Oh, UT. Has it only gone for 20 out of 25? He did well enough to recover. Started off quite slowly, but... Um, it all right in the end. Turn Bravo, next man in. Gotcha. Good shot. Very good shot. They've got a fielder on the rope. He's beaten them so far. No one's done exceptionally well, but pretty much everyone has contributed. Gotcha. Darren joins the party as well. All right. He's got a boundary added to his uh, scorecard as well. Taking him on again. I think he's beaten the deep cover. Yes, he has. That'll be 10 up for Darren Bravo. So everyone so far has come out to bat have entered double digits. Oh, yeah! that's it. Darren Bravo gone for 12 of 8. And it's from one Caribbean legend to another. It's Chris Gale. I'd argue the bigger legend. Literally bigger. <laughs> both in physical stature and also um, <laughs> in terms of uh, cricketing legacy. But it's Sean Marsh to replace Darren Bravo. A yep. oh, lovely shot, very good shot, very cheeky shot from the experienced Marshy. Off the mark with a boundary. Similar sort of shot in a different area. They've got a fielder in that area. Nope, they, well, they did have a fielder, but he's beaten them. Sean Marsh has done really well. Giving him a bit of room, giving him way too much room. He's gone over point and four runs. Marshy boy enters double digits as well, and that's what I like about this team. See, pretty much everyone who's come out to bat have contributed, and pretty much everyone has entered double digits. Uh oh, they might be in trouble. Oh, it's a direct hit. I think that might be the end of that batsman. It's a very close one. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I think he's safe, actually. That's Kano. Yeah, that's a big wicket right there, and he's safe. That won't be out. I think he's all right. That's not out. Yep. Flicked it off his pads. Over square leg, just about, though, and four runs. Oh no, that's not a great shot. If they hang on to it, which they do, yeah. that's the end of Sean Marsh. All right, so a couple of uh, lackluster innings have came in. One of Darren Bravo, one of uh, Sean Marsh. But other than that, they've fared pretty well so far. Pretty much everyone getting close to that 30 mark, which is a pretty good uh, target to get. Only four 11 players get to 30. And that's quite a lot of runs, isn't it? That's 330 runs right there. But, um... Obviously, that's... Well, it is possible, but it's not probable. Yep. Catch. Lovely shot from Kano. He's still going strong. Out of the gap. Wow, look at that. Just flicked it off. All that was was a bit of wrist work and timing. Captain, yeah. no! I was going to say. The captain leading from the front like a captain. And he was, but he is no more.
It's the two skippers facing off Chris Gale, captain of uh, Billy Capitals, Kano, captain of Central Stacks, and Chris Gale, in this case, have come out on top, but not after a lovely innings from Kano, though 44 of 32 is very impressive. Dwayne Bravo, the other Bravo, half-brother of Darren. Yeah. Oh, what a shot. Got a few there, I think he's beaten him. Yes, he has. That's gone, four runs. Lovely shot, he's scooped that over to the inner circle. That'll be four runs. Oh, That's a very good shot again. Sarfaraz Ahmed this time. Getting four runs on the board. Yep. It's a lovely flick of the wrist. Gone, four runs. into the gap again the fielder might cut it off no that's gone for four that's placed to perfection we've got a very good total on their hands at the moment yep, gotcha. 162 and they have still got two overs to go so 180 maybe even 200 yeah, yeah. oh that's good that's very good he's placed that to perfection he's timed it as well that's 170 up Ooh, 200 is on the cards, you know. These two are doing really well. Yep, oh, he's taking them on. Black Lance of Turds. And somehow he's beaten the fielder and it's gone all the way for four. Would you believe it? Ooh, that's three in a row boundaries. That's not going to be out. Come on, surely not. That's way outside of off. Good decision by Liam Dar, I agree. Okay, well, now why did they do that? Yeah, that was never going to be out. I don't even think it's going on to hit the wind, uh, the stumps. Oh, it is hitting the stumps, but impacts us out of off. And even if it wasn't outside of off, it's still hitting umpire's call, so which is not out, so it'll remain not out. Ooh, that'll be another boundary added. So that's four boundaries and a one. 17 runs and that over. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, that's not. That's just poor. That's too bad. Full toss and wide enough for them to free their arms. Yeah. Oh, come on. I think he's trying to go for the slower wide Yorker, which can be very effective. But he's missing his mark every single time. It's not wide enough. And it's not it's too full it's almost a full toss a low full toss which is quite easy to put away for the batsman yep. he's gone for it. he's got it that was much better but the batsman has dealt with it a lot better as well instead of using power he's used his uh yep. oh that's poor again he's tossed it up there see he's bowled like five straight wide yorkers and all of them been put away why are you doing it i mean it's clearly not working change the plan is has he beaten them no he hasn't oh they are falling just short by three runs of 200 but that is a massive total it is gonna be incredibly difficult for the League Capitals to chase this one down. Central Stag started their campaign off. The very first game of the season was their game and they won it. And I think they might have just won this one as well. I mean, it's a funny game. You never know who's going to come out on top. I mean, you've got two massive hard header as a ball coming in to open a batting. Chris Gale, we all know the Gale Storm. I mean, there's a reason his nickname is the Gale Storm. We've got Aaron Finch who scored 150 in T20s. So both ridiculously good, yeah. especially in the T20 format. The Gale Storm have started things off with uh, just a single. Oh, he's taking them on. Over mid off. And that'll be four, yep. Slap that one into the gap between point and cover. 
Oh, it's slowing down quite a bit. I think they've just saved one run. That is very good teamwork right there from the two fielders. Oh, good shot. Yeah, when Chris Gale goes full swing, you ain't stopping that one. Ah, oh, there he goes. Inside out, over cover, four. Double digits, Aaron Finch enters. Ooh, I don't think he's middle that one. I think that'll be caught out. If it's on LBW, which clearly it isn't because he's absolutely smashed it with his bat, which clearly cannot be given LBW, but it will be given, caught out. Imran Tahir have got him. Well, that's a massive wicket. That's not only the skipper, it's also the universe boss himself. It's a massive wicket. Six for six. Not a great start for the boss. Alex Sales, next man in. Yep. Oh, next hit. Oh, that's uh, under the boundary for four. Gets very lucky, Hales, eh? A lovely shot over point. One bounce, two bounces, and that'll be four. Hales is a very aggressive batsman as well. I am a fan of his batting, particularly in the limited overs. Yeah. Let's just flick that one out of the gap. They've got a fielder on the rope. Uh-oh, bit of hesitation, bit of hesitation. To keep us in, nah, he's gone, nah, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, that's the end of that. Hales is very quick between the sticks, but uh, Aaron Finch, not so much. As you could see, Halesy made it back. He was home by Finch, not. Oh, what a hit from Brendan Taylor. Oh, he's such an exciting player from Zimbabwe. He doesn't get nearly enough recognition because he's from Zimbabwe, but he is a spectacular batsman. Oh, what a hit straight over the bowler Z and onto the rope. Maybe that'll go all the way for six. No, just one bounce and four runs. Eight runs of two deliveries. He's giving him a bit of room. That's a lovely shot over cover from B. Taylor. And a resurrection all of a sudden for Diddley Capitals. I think it might be on with Taylor and Halesy. I think they've got it. I think this might be on. The game is on. Yep, both of these are belligerent. Yep, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They're just too good. They're just too good. Lovely. 23 will move on to with that. He'll take that. That's not the prettiest shot, but he'll take it. It's the end result that counts. Dolib Zadran not too happy. Shot. Lovely and X recover from Alex Hales, eh? 17 of 13 deliveries is on now. Both Hales and Taylor joining forces. Trying to save Dilly Capitals here. And Brendan Taylor and Hales both are doing a pretty decent job at the moment. Taylor's on another level, holy! 42, just eight more runs and he'll get his half ton. All right, they're not gonna go down that easily. Oh, he smashed that one, that's out of the gap, that'll be four, don't even bother running after that one. 46 up, just four runs away. Only 23 deliveries has taken him. Some batting right here from Taylor. Oh, and he continues, he continues, there's more. That's 50 for Brendan Taylor. 50 of 25 deliveries, 200 strike rate he's going at. That's exactly the kind of batting they needed. Halesy, yeah. failsy. What did I just say? I didn't even mean to say that, but that just hurt that much. <laughs> Dwayne Bravo, DJ Bravo. Bangs that one in a little shorter length, and 
takes a brilliant catch that's the end of the big man Alex Hale has gone for 21 of 21 Ajin Kiarahane next man in shot he's giving him a bit of width there Chris Mpufu and Taylor the kind of form he's in ooh that looks very close that looks on to me if I was a bowler I would convince the skipper to review that one I'm not entirely sure if it would be given out I don't think it will be I'd review that I'd definitely review that that's so close I mean it's worth reviewing alright they've gone for it I think that's a good review Oh, impact alright that's what's saving the batsman there's no bat involved but impact us out of off that's what's saving the batsman it's definitely going on to hit the stumps yep but impacts us out of off oh shot not a great delivery though half of Oli giving him a bit of width on offer as well so Rahane has gone after him Rahane has been very slow I know he's a test player but come on okay well the Rangan's done the trick. It's Imran Tahir off the back of the hand. Difficult of, uh, from him to read. It's uh, different bowlers got different ways of doing it. I like the way Imran Tahir does it because the way he does it, it doesn't really change his action all that much. So it becomes very difficult to read which way the ball is going to turn. And Well, that's what has happened there. Angelo Matthews, next man in. Oh, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. The Lone Wolf. Central Stags have won by 62 runs. I feel bad for Brendan Taylor. He's played out of his skin. He deserves the man of the match, to be honest. But uh, his team, well, no one really supported him. It was all him. The Lone Wolf. One man army. Central Stags are victorious once more. Imran Thayer is at the top now with four wickets. Ravi Chandra Nashwin right behind him with 100 runs. Only man to enter triple digits is Faf Duplessis. And we're going to take a look at the team table. Central Stag, there it is. Two games, two wins, 100% record so far. Congratulations, Jamesies. Commiserations to Pizzies. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like at the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...